Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Don't Draw campaign. This is episode 17. We picked up from turn 87 in the autumn season of 207. So, last episode, uh, we ended by securing ourselves the dream marriage. We got our girl, uh, Sun Ren. Uh, we're going to put her to good use uh, very soon. She's young. She'll be here for a long time. And now we must decide how to proceed because we are 18 prestige points away from becoming queen which will officially trigger the Three Kingdom event. And I double checked on global power rankings. We are number two. Uh, Duchies of Wu is rank one. And number three is Gongsun Zan. So it looks like he's still gonna be uh, the next uh, third emperor seat. Uh, four is Yuan Shao, along with all his vassals. And lastly, five is Liu Bei, who recently acquired Liu Bei's land. Uh, Liu Bei is the vassal of Sun Jian, uh, so that's a big issue. It would have been very nice if Liu Bei was number two or three. That way they could fracture, but doesn't seem to be the case. And then they have all these land here that's kind of encroaching on our land. So that would be an issue. Uh, and we're about to go into war with Yuan Shao. So what will likely happen is that we will fight Yuan Shao, gain some land, uh, boost ourselves to queen, and then all of a sudden, Gong Sun Zan, Liu Bei, uh, all the vassals, Sun Jian will all declare war on us. So things are about to get pretty rough. Uh, for sure, uh, which is not what I want. Um, I was hoping for a nice setup down here where we already take control of all the spices before we got to that point, but it doesn't seem likely. Uh, Liu Bei is a very good friend of ours. There's a good chance he might not declare war on us, even if Sun Jian declare war. That's the only thing I'm counting on uh, going forward. Alright, so let's get this war kicked off we've been waiting long enough we've been holding back against them for a while uh, no one likes this but this is happening let's see how many uh, other parties he dragged into the fight with us well Yuan Yao is in the war too he's our vassal we're gonna start by hammering this group right here I believe the border, yep, the border is fine. We're just going to get this army in, into range. They will do the heavy lifting. Oh, we probably should take night battle then. We don't really need these three generals. And night battle also reduce their morale. They have a pretty impressive force. A lot of strong infantry. But we should be able to handle them. This trebuchet bothers me a little bit, but should be okay. Let's go. Alright, so I'm not sure how they're going to deploy their trebuchets. But... They're not going to come out. They have quite a big force. They're going to stay inside. We could do something tricky where we make our army disappear. What I mean by that is we hide. And then what they do is they clump at the flag. And then we unleash the trebuchet on them from, let's say, like here where we're hidden in the beginning. We need to move out, like, obviously. We need to get into uh, the opening because we can't really fire flaming shots out of a forest without expecting to catch our fire ourselves. Hmm, this might work. It might work. It might also end terribly for us. Um, the theory here is that enemies will clump here if they don't see where you are at the beginning. And we're going to try to abuse that fact. But first, we got to make sure everyone's hidden. There's not that many forests around. They'll just have to overlap. I'm not sure this will work, but we can try it. It might be fun. Um, if it doesn't work out, we can always pull back and fight over here. 
let's let's test it out. Everyone's hidden. Everyone is hidden. Yes. Yes, it worked. All right, we got to disable these guys first. Look at that. Look at that. Look how much damage this this will do. We gotta knock down their trebuchet first, though. You guys don't need to fire right now. They should have just stayed hidden. Yeah, we killed over a hundred men there. If we wipe out the trebuchet, then it's it's pretty much over. Oh, they're firing back. Yep, one of them trying to fire back. There we go. We knocked out at least one. And then we're going to hit clumps. Oh my god. Beautiful. Alright, they abandoned their machine. But we're still going to get another shot in right here just to make sure. Alright. Oh my. We killed... Oh, almost 200 already. Are we burning our forest? No, we're not. We picked low trees. Oh. So satisfying. Alright, we have 15 more shots. Good luck on them. Yeah, we have fire arrows, so we can use fire arrows to take out towers. We don't have to worry about that. Somehow, this guy's killing a lot more than this guy. Almost double the amount. It depends on who fires for first, really, because they're hitting kind of the same spot. We could probably maximum damage if we have them hit different spots. We just have to micro pretty extensively. I can't even see who's alive and who's just dead bodies piled on. There's not that many alive people here, is my opinion. We might be better served hitting this spot right here. We still have a bunch of shots. Yeah, I think there's not that many actual units here. Just a lot of weakened units. We're going to ignore this group. We'll attack from this side. Alright, I'm going to micro these for a little bit longer until we finish all the shots. And then we'll actually move our units this way. This way. Actually, why don't we hit the cavalry? Four shots. As we move, I think they're going to shift as well. Alright. 
Well, that's good enough, actually. We could have waited for this get to get closer, but I think this is fine. We'll pound them once, probably hit some tower by accident. They're both on fire. Back to the units. Alright, we're good. This guy killed 592. Good job. This guy's a 404. Still has two more shots. These guys are not moving. These are tough cookies. Let's give them a shot. Alright, these gates are down. This one's almost down. Give it a little time. Let's see if we're good at tracking targets. Auto tracking. Only one? Okay, fine. We killed over a thousand. They can pull out. We don't need them anymore. Let's show up. Second wave. I'm going to ignore the range units. This group all cannot with. Uh, they're all weak against our cavalry, so we're not going to do anything to them. We're just going to shoot down all these uh, spear units. We can probably get a little closer. All right, from the side should do a lot of damage. They're not facing us with the shields. All right, they can wait a little bit. They have to guard the door, right? They can't just abandon the door. Wipe this unit out. We'll slowly shift our units up. Alright, they're wiped. They'll send someone else up. These guys are useless for this fight. They're not sending anyone else down? I'm surprised. We can go this way. We can just match them in range, but outshoot them. They're the only range units left. They're trying to respawn, but let's get our first volley down. There we go. Yeah. 
not killing them. We're barely in range, even at the edge of the lake. That's the problem. We just need to route them. We're losing a couple guys too, but it's fine. All right, we got them. Our unit's going to still take some time. It's unfortunate we can't reach these guys. Oh. Range block chance. Interesting. Oh, circle formation. 70% range block chance. Oh, not holding it. Trying to charge. That's the wrong answer. I want to kill these guys. Oh, they charged. They charged. We'll wipe out who's behind. They can hold it. Charge negate. Not worried. Oh, he's out of ammo. All right, we need to have these guys move up as well. Kill the spear guards. You can leave. We can get a roar in. Alright, cavalry can go up soon. First, we need to just occupy all the spear units. Alright, we got this. Yuan Tan. Let's kill him. Uh, these two guys occupy that spear unit. Zhang Lao can take the Havery. Alright, we killed Yuan Tan. She's next. Seems to be Yuan Tan's wife. Zhang Lao's already dismounted, but it's fine. Grab the spear unit. They're not braced. We'll move him in as well. We don't really want to get bogged down here. Get them to route. 
Kill their general. Route them. Alright, just need to grab everyone here. Kill this general. Ooh. Armor reduction. Okay, that's fine. I think they're all gonna route. Alright, let's kill him. Grab this flag. Minus 10 more morale. Alright, we won. There we go. Well, our trebuchet really softened them up. Let's see, do we capture Yuan Tan? Nope. Uh, we should just be taking it. This is Tai Yuan, after all. This is the the prize that we're after. We're after all of Tai Yuan. So now we're at war with Wang Quan. We're gonna grab his copper mine. Um, I don't want to take any losses, so I'll be fighting this and cutting it out. Yeah, there's no reason for us to actually show this. So see you guys at the end. Alright, we had a terrible fight. So, what happened was, they were not coming out. So I moved the trebuchets up as close as we could uh, to hit the units. But after we fired our first shot, they charged out and they had cavalry and they just swarmed these guys so that didn't go so well and what do we want to do with her I don't really care about her I think she can just go we'll take the item we will definitely take the copper mine we're still many many reforms away from getting the one we need for the uh, corruption reduction but let's get that first now we're still not queen we're close 15 points away uh, what's gonna happen is that we're gonna be attacking this wiping out Wang Quan and then we'll trade this to Yuan Yao Shangdan is best given to a vassal that's pretty much the way things are we'll grab the rest of these and then we'll peace out with Yuan Shao that's the goal and hopefully we won't um, become king before then. We could actually ambush an uh, army here. Or we can just wait for them to come. Uh, Surin is definitely going to get her own army very very soon. Alright, let's see. What can we give her? Yeah, back to 20. She'll go up above 22. She can actually use Glaive. Might as well. Max her instinct out a little bit. Oh, we'll find you a suitable horse in the future. She needs a bow. She needs a bow for her ability too. All right, we're gonna start pumping her out to see who she works well with. We need to give her a strategist. Oh, Deltran could work because we are planning to adopt her into uh, Lui Bu's family. Then that would be her mom, technically. Yeah, this could work. Now, Dan has not a great general, but she has the minimum requirement to be a, a strategist in the army. And they can work together. Father, mother, and daughter. We're going to get rid of her units, though. There's also an issue here. Liu Bei is probably going to attack us eventually. 
We gotta prepare for invasion here too. All right, rebellion soon. We'll continue to farm. All right, most of our corruption's from this. Yeah, it'll be four percent once we get to tier four, uh, tier three. So we're still going for palace. Although it does increase prestige. Yeah, we might want to hold off on that. Salt mine. Need reform, but also need resource. What are we missing? Industrialist. What happened? How did we lose industrialist? Did we never have industrialist in the first place? Interesting. Because I know this tree is definitely industrialist, but we don't have the reform for that one. Okay, I guess we just never had it. And we just upgraded it and it became less efficient. A little bit sad. Alright, let's upgrade this. Alright, our army down south can also start their war. Oh, actually we can wait one more turn. Full replenishment. Yeah, very close. And we'll get the lumber yard taken down. We can delegate most of these fights. High delegate value. But we also want to try to get our leader killed. Slightly less pressing to get her killed now, but... It's probably fine. I think that's everyone. This army is kind of wiped. That's the problem. They got to wait for a bit before they can take on a real fight. They probably just want to hold defensively here against Yuan Shao's armies, but they need to go take this. We need that. Maybe they can just take it. We can wipe out Wang Quan next turn. All right, let's just go next turn and see what happens. Yeah, I think I did everything. All right, Cao Cao declare war on us. Doesn't matter. It's not important. Alright, Liu Bei took on our spy. Good. Oh, Guo Jia and Dong Li had another son. Too bad we can't see them on the family tree. Alright, Dong Min picked up some useful skills. Good for them. Alright, we'll just wipe out Wang Quan, I think. They're just in a farmland. She's leveled up. Hmm. Take mighty knockback. I think I can actually just delegate this. This might push us over to king or queen. Alright, I'm not delegating this. I'm gonna fight it. It's for no loss. I'll see you guys at the end. Alright, still not completely clean, but not bad. And we captured Wang Quan. Now he is going to lose his faction. He has a eunuch. Uh, I want the book, uh, but we got the armor. We'll take it. He's 69. How come we died at... Uh, 67. Alright, it's a farmland that we're going to trade away. So we're going to grab it by looting it. Lowering the level will also reduce the amount of prestige we get. So hopefully this won't rank us up to queen. Wow, Zhang Fei was in his faction. Well, not anymore. Zhang Fei left Liu Bei again. Interesting. Well, now it looks like he's joining Sun Jian. Hmm. Although we don't need to get reach on him, it would be nice. Zhou Tai could lead his own army in the future. So we'll get flexibility and then reach. 
All right, so both of our armies are pretty much done over here. We could trade this away. We are super close. Eight points. So we probably didn't need to loot it. Oh, actually, if we didn't loot it, it would be exactly 10 points. It would have been exactly a 500. So that was a good decision. Um, now we're going to go north, and we're going to trade this away. Ooh, he get a trade agreement as well. Here, we're going to give you free land. Free food for you. And... You're going to give us back... Nothing. He has a farmland down here and a town up there. We're not really interested in either, so we're just going to give it to him. It's fine. Um, we'll ask for some... He doesn't have any cash. That's the other problem. Right, he just doesn't have money. He also doesn't have food. Wow, there's nothing we can give him. There's nothing we can get back. Some Maybe cash? He only has 400. There we go. We'll get 100 back. I mean, Yuan Yao is dependable. He's honorable, naive, and innocent, so... He'll be fine. Uh, we can replenish on uh, Vassal land as well, so we'll be okay. This army healed pretty well. Just the tribuches are very damaged, but I think we'll be fine. Now Yuan Shao has an army here. We're at peace with Gongsun Zan for now. We just need to grab this and we can peace out with Yuan Shao. So we don't need to move this army because we need to defend this area. We need them to take this three turns. That's a long time, to be honest. All right. Who else is still mad at us? Someone new is mad at us. I don't think we need her. Yeah, we don't need her. No, it's not her. Wait. There she is. Mm, we don't really need any of them. One more turn before we can do that. Um, let me think. Rebellion soon, hopefully. We're trying to control our prestige, so we're going to wait. We'll get an industrialist once we get the right reform. We need a level 4 state workshop, basically. Alright. They're... Just stay near the city. They are ready to attack. How long will this take? Oh, this will take a while. Alright, let's start attacking down here. We're at 490. This is level what? Level 3. Level 3 buildings are 5 prestige. Okay. We'll go to war. Oh, we have a deal. We have a trade deal. Oh, wow. I forgot about that. It's not the end of the world if we don't go to war with them now. Oh. All right, new strategy. We're going to go to war with, get ready to go to war with Sun Jian. Let's go this way first. We'll, we'll, we'll go on march. Do you have... He doesn't have reach. 
All right, we're gonna readjust and get ready to attack from this way. We'll keep Shixie as a trade partner. Say goodbye to our spice empire. We'll try to get it through trade somehow. Now we're at war with uh, Tai Mao here. I'm gonna go attack them. And then hopefully we can trade it to Liu Bei afterward. That way we can uh, see if we can build him up as a potential third emperor seat. You guys can go into Chang'an and let's see. Who do you work well with? Any chance you work well with Cao Pi? Nope. Okay. Well, you and Cao Pi can be two separate armies then. Now, Del Chan is, is someone we scouted out that could work. We could give her... Now, these guys are old. Del Chan is young enough. Um... Let's end her assignment here. We'll put someone else there instead. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's uh, continue. Oh, the High Empire is getting attacked by Wu and it's asking for us help. Well, we're definitely willing to help and we're okay to declare war against Wu. It's a matter of time. I mean, Yuan Yao, come on. We've been giving you free land. Stop asking for so much. Alright, the problem with this war that we're helping out the Han is that Liu Bei is now declared war against us as well. Yeah, that's the only problem. I would like perception. Right. Okay. Let's add Delta into your army. And we could go heavy on cavalry. Or we can give you the very standard move here. Yeah, we'll probably need a front line. We'll give Surin the best cavalry. But she's only level 1, so... She can't get the heavy version, but the cataphract's good enough. 80. Only cost 80 gold. Wow. Nice. It's because all the horse pastures upgrade already come to come online. Um, this is free. Um, we have a bit of a situation, though. We're now at war with the whole map again. Um, guess it's good we didn't declare war on Shixi yet. Because now we have to fight them. I also think we can start becoming queen because it's not like we can wait anymore. There's no reason to wait because they'll be ready to declare war on us. I was hoping we could trade him some more land. That way when uh, the event happens, he can split off from Duchess of Wu. But I guess Gongsun Zan is going to get that honor of being a third emperor. They keep wanting me to move characters into Anding. It's because of low uh, low public order. Have a trade agreement. We already do. Do we need a new one? Alright, we need to get a new trade, I guess. Or maybe not. Alright, we're going to grab this. But there's no one to give it to. We could just burn it down. I think untrustworthiness is pretty much done. We can't. We can't really make deals going forward. Yeah, Han Fu, we want his last piece of land. We want Yuan Shao's last piece of land here, too. Cao Cao, I don't care. Any chance we can peace out? I'm not really ready to go to war with you yet. Uh, I mean, I guess this is a fight we can't avoid. All right, let's get over there to Taiyuan. How come you're not happy? Because your level's too high? Here, take an item. Take this. Taiyuan. 
Okay. Two turns. And then we can peace out with Yuan Shao. His armies are coming, but I don't think they're coming to the copper mine. So I think we can move up now. And we'll try to end uh, Han Fu. Still not sure what to do with the land here. Mm. We need the level 4 state workshop. We need industrialists. So we need to pick up this one, I believe. Yeah, two reforms away, though. We also need this. But this also increases public order, which is not great. We also need this and this. We need a lot of things. Uh, let's start here, because this is also part of that tree. Five more turns for industrialists. We'll wait on that. I don't think we need to rush any of these. Jade dragons can wait. Not that important. Campaign movement range is pretty good, though. The replenishment is also really good, but this takes too long. I think we need that level 4 state workshop. Rebellion soon, hopefully. Alright, because we got that reform, we get level 4 tool makers. We can only go the artisanal route. Right. Wait, wait, we might want to wait then. We want to wait for industrialists as well. Alright, this will satisfy a mission, and I'm ready to become queen, so let's go for it. Alright, we'll wait. Alright, assignments. We pulled um, Del Chan out of Wudu, I believe. Yep. So maybe Fa Zheng can go level up. All right, both of them moved. We could just take it. And this push us to queen. And we can end our episode becoming queen. Triggering the war. Here, we'll give her these two tribuches, the best units. He's level 4, so we definitely get access to spear guards. Although, if we wait till we're queen, we have access to even better units. The Defender of Heaven and Protector of Earth. Yeah, we could wait on him. Let's become queen. Uh, we'll just delegate this fight. We'll just occupy. Hai 就是以王，天道轮回，其时已终。天下之事，瞬息万变。All right, we are now queen. All will bow down to your authority, uh, emperor or empress, and the public governments no more. Oh, oh, look at this, look at this. We did it. Liu Bei is the third one. I don't know how it happened, but it's not Gong Sun Zan. So they, they split up. Perfect. Okay, okay. A lot of good news. Okay, so. Uh, obviously, Liu Bei still loves us from all our past relationship, but we're going to be at war with them because we're three separate emperor seats. Kingdom of Wu's capital is in Puyang. Kingdom Shu capital is in Xiangyang. Okay, this one's really close. Liu Bu has something to do. He can just come right down, grab that for us. 
This also means Gong Sun Zhen is not going to declare war on us. Uh, if he had been in pursuit, we would have been at war with over here. So what we need to do is quickly grab these two, peace out with Yuan Shao, and start headed down south. The river is going to get real busy with Liu Bei's army coming down. Liu Bei has a lot of armies. It's going to be very tough. Uh, Sun Jian as well. Um, we'll, have, we'll start eating into his land from here. Uh, Zhang Ke, Cheng Wu, all great commanderies. We're going to grab hold of those. Uh, the Han Empire is no longer our vassal, I believe, so we can start destroying them as well. Uh, Ma Chao is in that faction. We need to wipe this faction out so that we can uh, get access to all their characters. Obviously, we don't have to do it ourselves. We can, you know, take some land and then have the other factions destroy them too. So that's that's the situation right now. Pretty interesting. Um, very happy that Liu Bei became the emperor. He still has Guan Yu, although Zhang Fei left him for some reason. So. It's uh, basically we're playing as Wei, except for Cao Cao never got started. He spent too much resource trying to fight us early on. So Kingdom of Zhou, uh, we're going to try to unite China under that banner. So see you all next time. Bye.